I'm Ronnie from Ronnie's Garage and we're having our monthly tech meet and we're going to be taking apart a Turbo 400 uh, hydromatic transmission. Come on baby. Ooh, well, there's more than one way to do it, right? So I'm sure these seals are crispy too. Look at that. So I'm not going to waste the time by doing that. This has the same setup with the other seal facing up, the other two face down. Were they part of the, were these broken rings part of the problem? Or were they just? They contributed to this clutch failure. Yeah, yeah. right, I see, yeah. The servo piston that's broken probably did the shutter because it applied that, it was applying that band. But I don't know. All I see is a lot of problems, which we're gonna address. And um, the car had what, 20, 70 thousand? 70, I think, yeah, somewhere around there. <coughs> Let me pull this pump apart. This is kind of cool. Okay. <coughs> um, 716. This big valve here is a uh, pressure control valve. So it's like on an engine, they have a relief valve. So when you reach a certain pressure, it just starts letting it spit by. This is, this is the same kind of thing. Oh, it's half inch. The calibration was off. One thing that's brilliant is the bolts are offset, so you can't attempt to put it back together incorrectly. Some people can't be sure. Oh, look at that. Well, there's a lot of design features in this that does stop you from putting the wrong paper. Right. And that's part of the genius of this. Right. And even um, putting, if you, if you looked at that case, you'll see all these holes. These are all oil passages. And if you don't put them on right, then you will, you know, it won't work. Uh, and the same with the gasket. If you put the gasket on right, here's your pump. This is what pumps the fluid. Here. That and then the torque converter pump fluid. See, this hooks into that, notches on that torque converter on that snout. So this turns with the engine, and it, this is the, uh, I don't know which one of the pressures this would be. Main pressure? Yeah, main pressure. Um, so your pressure relief valve is in here, and they made, made it so that there's a little pin you can take out. I think you drive it from the other side, yeah. There's a pin that holds this in. This has got a spring in a valve, but this pin will not come out unless the pump is taken apart. So there's no danger of it coming apart when it's in the car. So let's go ahead and... So this transmission only has the one? Yes. This is the front one. Correct. The other transmission had two pumps. Yeah, You're right about that. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. That's good. You can't... Did you come to that one? on? Somebody brought, I, I didn't know you could put them in second gear and push start those things. So anyways, this piston's got to come out. I'm afraid it's going to come out in a hurry. There it is. Not too bad. That's one part. There's another part right there on your back. Yeah, and there's a snap ring on this side too. So this is, this is part of the main pressure. Uh, I'd... Small button there on the edge of your bench. Oh, well, that's the plug at the end. Okay, thank you. I don't know if I can get this thing out. I gotta get another tool. These do come out, just so you know. It's always best to put them back in the same way. And you would think that the, since they put notches on there, they put a notch on this so you'd remember, but they don't. This is the bushing that comes with the kit. This is what the torque converter bolt mm -hmm. see in there. Uh, and then this is the front seal. Just do that back in so I don't forget. Let me go get a snap ring plier. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> Okay, there's a lot of stuff going on in here. So this is what we're going to do. This is how I usually lay out valves. Okay. 
This one goes in there. And these are all nice and free, but if you move these valves and you go past their normal limit, you'll feel them catching. So I use that Scotch Brite, that uh, abrasive pad, and I usually polish them so the edges are gone and you can feel it and it works real smooth. It's, that's probably one of the more time consuming. There's a little spacing washer that sits in here, and I'm sure, whoa, that that is in there to keep, uh, oh, it holds the spring is what it does. That's how it went, right? And there's still something else in here. There's a little ring here. So when this is all compressed, this valve in here is not going to be coming falling out because there won't be the space for that. I think that's it for that valve. One thing when you put this together, if you're going to do this at home, when you before you tighten those, you want to make sure these edges are square because there's a little tiny bit of float. And if you don't, uh, it won't line up. When you put it back in, it'll be hard to get back in. There's not a dowel pin or anything? No, there is not. Some engineer was on lunch that day. Right. Oh, it's a bean counter. I'm sorry. Yeah. The engineer wanted a pin. Yeah. The engineer probably wanted two pins. Yeah. That would be true. Three to make it perfectly centered. <laughs> All right, I guess all we have, I might as well pull that valve body apart. So.